Hi, I'm Cassie Weber, and welcome to HBTV Live. Today we have with us the swim team. Hi, I'm Sophia Lara, and I swim freestyle, and I'm a captain. Hi, I'm Christina Bambach, I swim fly, and I'm a captain. Hi, I'm Felix Van Kowler, I swim I am, and I am a captain. Hi, I'm Ian Leeson, I swim freestyle, and I'm a captain. So tell us a bit about yourselves. Uh, I'm a senior, and uh, I'm in choir <laughs> as well. Um, I'm also a senior. I'm in band, and I've been swimming since I was really little. Uh, I'm also a senior. Um, I've been swimming for 15 years, I think. So, I, swimming's fun, yeah. I'm a senior as well, and I've been swimming since I was about four, maybe. So. We'll be right back after this break. Can you hear my heartbeat calling? Can you feel the love we're falling? Just take my hand and take me home tonight. Throwing caution to the wind. I'll take a chance and let you in. Just take my hand and take me So to start off, uh, what would you say practice is like on a daily basis? Um, well, Coach Cole really likes to hit us with the sprint stuff, so we do a lot of sprint-oriented um, workouts. Um, but then our other assistant coach, Coach Farron, she is really more about um, technique and stroke, so they'll switch off and do different workouts with each coach. Yeah, we start with a warm up and then we do a few main sets and then a cool down and each set has something different that we should work on. So how long do you guys practice on average? We start swimming at 7 in the morning until first period and we do that every day for the whole week. Um, what would you guys say are the strengths and weaknesses of the team? I'd say one of the strengths is definitely our size. We have a huge team this year, about 65 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and weaknesses are, uh, it's, uh, it's also the size, I guess. We have uh, pretty crowded lanes in the morning and in afternoon, so. How yeah, but, sorry, but um, <laughs> I think another weakness is that it's the start of the year. We don't really know each other yet, and we haven't built that bond up. So at the end of the year, we should be a lot closer, and which should definitely help in meets. Yeah, we especially have a lot of new freshmen, and they bring a lot of talent to our team, but we just need to work better together, and we're excited for the rest of the season. So, um, how do you guys, like, divvy up the team? Like, who's captain of what? We kind of all take together. We all take charge together during uh, meet warm-ups and everything. We all have our specific role on, on, the, as, on the team, so that's how, that's how we divvy it up. Stay tuned, and there's more after this. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. So, moving forward, what are meets like? High energy, very high energy. Um, we always have the whole team standing on the, the pool deck right next to the lanes, um, cheering, and just a really great environment for everybody. So how do you guys prepare for the meets, um, like mentally and physically prepare as like a team? Well, our physical pre preparation is practice every day. <laughs> and mentally, we kind of, as a team, we kind of just, uh, all work together, especially us four. We're working to motivate the younger swimmers and get the older swimmers to motivate the younger swimmers. So we're all trying to work together to help everyone out. How do you guys feel before and after a meet? Before me, pretty nervous. Pretty nervous to see how everything goes. And then after me, we're kind of just tired and just happy that everything turned out fine. Yeah, ready for some food after. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How do you feel when you hit the water? It's usually pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's time to race. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I just focus on what my coaches have told me, especially with like that specific race, and just kind of play it in my head as I go through the race. So you guys would say the meets are fun? Like, <laughs> you guys have fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're really yeah. fun. Do you guys have like, um, like, after celebrations. We usually go to Qdoba as a team. <laughs> Just have a little munch. So it's nice. That's all we'll be after this break. And we're back. So in terms of competition, what are your plans for the upcoming meetings? Or meets? Meets? Uh, well, we have J.J. Pierce. Um, On Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. And it's, uh, it's a big meet, I guess. We, we haven't won. We didn't win last year, which was kind of disappointing. That was the only one we didn't win. Only one, just <laughs> to make sure. Um, so uh, I guess 
kind of rivals, I guess. So we'll see how that goes. You guys think you're going to go to state this year? Yeah. Going <laughs> <laughs> to win state? I know the guys are definitely trying to win state again. And yeah. yeah. And the girls are just trying to get there. We we didn't make it last year, but we we think we with the newcomers we can make it. Yeah, we're we're looking really good for this point in the season, especially with our girls and just the level that we're at. So we're really excited to keep building on that speed, building on that success for state. So what are you guys' personal plans? Are you guys gonna continue swimming after high school, maybe go to the Olympics or just like your like plan for after high school for swimming? Well, I know that I think I might want to swim in college, but I don't know yet. Um, I'll probably swim on a club team in college. I probably won't commit anywhere, but just a club team to keep up with the sport because I really enjoy it. Uh, well, I do plan on swimming on the collegiate level, so. I actually don't plan on swimming <laughs> in college. If, uh, if the option's there, I probably would, but just as a... Uh, an exercise thing, but not as a, on a team. Um, so what's it like working with the freshmen and, you know, the new people who are, like, fresh to swim, like, brand new? I think it's really exciting. I, me and Sophia especially know a lot of the girls because they swim with us on our club team after school. So we were really excited when they were all coming up to HP so that we could just be with them for more of the time and just have really fun, have, have so much fun. And there were so many of them. It was just all like so nice to just see like new faces. It was yeah. really fun. A lot of new people excited about swimming. That's mm -hmm. great. Uh, I think it's pretty funny because uh, <laughs> they're, they're very scared the first day. Um, but you can see as weeks go by, they get more comfortable and they start joking with us, and it's, it's a good time. So finally, what is the general community like of the swim team? Everyone's so supportive of each other. Everyone's just trying to motivate everyone, just to make sure everyone does their best. Yeah, agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching. Also, a special thanks to Mr. Vasquez and, his ama and the amazing HPHS swim team.